Good day, I'm Samantha Allen and this is your GIS News for Wednesday, May 28. Cruise passenger arrivals to Jamaica are projected to increase to a record 1.4 million this year. January to April has already shown growth of 3.6%, representing an improvement from a decline of 4.2% last year. We expect cruise arrivals to continue to escalate with the arrival of the largest of Disney ships, the Fantasy. This, in addition to the MSC Divina, will be calling throughout the summer. While making his sectoral presentation Tuesday, the tourism minister said another three cruise ships will be home porting in Montego Bay by December. Minister McNeil said home porting would create more opportunities for local businesses as the ships would require produce as well as goods and services that can be bought locally. Commercial jet ski operators at the UDC beach in Ocheria St. Anne will be able to resume operations as of Monday. However, the suspension on jet ski operations introduced earlier this year will remain in place for all other areas. The Marine Police has indicated that they are sufficiently resourced with vessels and personnel to, up to ably enforce regulations in the bay upon resumption of commercial activities. Regulations regarding the use of jet skis and other personal watercraft, PwC, were imposed following three collisions involving the water sport equipment between last August and January. Minister McNeil says a PwC task force was established and it has been working to determine the parameters under which the activity can continue. The task force issued an advertisement asking operators to get registered. Up to the cut-off date of May 21, 100 operators had done so. Government is exploring several options to put an end to night noise. Entertainment State Minister Damien Crawford says measures must balance the rights of all stakeholders. I don't believe that it is, it is correct that the person who works from 9 to 5 um, uh, disadvantage the person who works from 5 to 9. We want a methodology that both the 9 to 5 and the 5 to 9 can, can, can coexist. And the, and the cultural disposition to say that is their idling is not true. The person who is the promoter is not idling. The person who is at the bar is not idling. The person who is running the taxi, the person who is at the security um, is not idling. Speaking recently on GIS TV's Issues and Answers, Mr. Crawford said the recently established entertainment registry and the implementation of entertainment zones were part of the solution. With the registry now in operation, persons can complain to the entertainment ministry if a promoter extends an event beyond the stipulated lock-off time frame. Frequent complaints against the promoter may lead to the revocation of that promoter's entertainment license. $38.6 million has been spent to give West Rural St. Andrew children a new early childhood institution. The Eric Malcolm Basic School was built by the Jamaica Social Investment Fund with $35.3 million in funding from the Caribbean Development Bank and $3.3 million from residents. Education Minister Reverend Ronald Thwaite says the institution should uplift the community. Minister of Education then commends these uplifts for you in the sure and certain knowledge that we are uplifting both the families and the aspirations of the little children and also for the future of Jamaica to reach our 2030 plans. The Office of the Prime Minister recently facilitated training to help household workers raise the standard of their service and ability to advance professionally. The training was done by the Management Institute for National Development, MIND, in collaboration with the Bureau of Women's Affairs and UN Women. 30 household workers got training in negotiation skills, leadership development, presentation and public speaking and project proposal writing. You will need these skills if you are to more effectively negotiate improved working conditions, increased access to resources, and improved professional standards. And finally, entrepreneurs involved in betting and gaming are being urged to take advantage of the sector and use the opportunity to promote growth in the economy. The call came from Chairman of the Betting, Gaming and Lotteries Commission, BGLC, Gary Peart, at a recent GIS think tank session. We feel that this is an expanding industry in an economy that is being challenged in a lot of other areas. The more companies that spring up is the greater the revenue, which will be the greater the revenue for the, for the consul fund and it redounds the benefit of every single Jamaican. 
Mr. Peart is encouraging entrepreneurs to participate in the BGLC's inaugural summit on Thursday, May 29 at the Jamaica Conference Center. The summit, which is free of cost to stakeholders and the public, will run from 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. and will highlight additional opportunities in the gaming industry. The summit will also focus on compliance with the Proceeds of Crime Act, the Responsible Gaming and Voluntary Self-Exclusion Program, Casino Gaming, the Future of Horse Racing, Sports Betting and Mobile Betting. And that's it for JIS News Today. I'm Samantha Allen. Thanks for watching.